Patrick, the, the game last year at New York, it seemed like first half you guys really had their defense kind of figured out, and then I'm guessing they made adjustments or maybe just some things changed. Like, what were the differences? And, Back to that game, I, uh, I think it was a couple um, mental lapses we had on defense, um, spreading out the traps and the press. It was taking a long time to get back and rotate into shooters. That was the main thing. Is their defense unique in, in the way that they play that pack line? Is you know the pack line seems to be like you know hot topic in basketball now. It's a yeah. trendy word. Is, is there anything unique playing against it compared to you know the other defenses you um, see? It's, it's definitely um, different because you know man to man. Um, usually go attack and drive to the basket. But with their defense, they force you to shoot jump shots, basically. So it's like zone-ish kind of man at the same time. Yeah. So it's kind of different. Does it get you in positions that aren't comfortable? Uh, I wouldn't say not comfortable, but just um, just puts you in different positions that you're not that you're not used to being in. You know, it's not uncomfortable, I want to say that. But, you know, it's just different in, in a sense. And if you do drive, there's like a, what, 6'11"? Yeah, it's a 6'11", in the yeah, yeah, sitting there and got the guards digging in. So it's like, got to really drive and kick, got to mix it up on them. For someone who likes to penetrate and they have that shot blocker in there, how much of a challenge is that to just, you know, just to see, you know, I want to see what he's about. You know, I want to see yeah. if I can get one up against him. Um, like I said, it's, we, we played against great shot blockers before, yeah. so it's not, it's not really that. That much different, but just the whole pack line sense. Yeah. I really think that changes it a lot.